Yes, good morning. My name is Fabian Williams, and um, this is uh, my first take at uh, using Camtasia to uh, record a screencast, so bear with me if I screw it up. Uh, it's a work in progress. So, um, first thing I'd like to talk about, um, is get focus on this uh, word doc, uh, notepad right here, is an agenda. So, I'm going to be displaying or talking about uh, six items today. The first thing I'm going to do is show you a flat file which um, actually builds off uh, my good buddy Todd Beginsky's blog where he created a flat file and used um, uh, Visual Studio 2010 Beta 2 to create an external con uh, connector um, to service this information up in an uh, external content type and eventually consume it in an external list inside SharePoint. Um, in his example, he um, basically created just two methods of read list and read item, which is what comes out of the box. And um, I plan to extend this to um, uh, incorporate, a, pardon me, a create and also a delete method. So get to giving you full CRUD capabilities. I further plan to extend this out by uh, including um, uh, a few LOB systems that I've created using the AdventureWorks database and um, just a few uh, dummy tables that I created. And um, the, the point I'm trying to raise here, or the awareness that I'm trying to raise here, is how you can have two disparate LOB systems, one a text file, which can be representative of you know, a data dump from a, a, another database or another um, system, coupled with a SQL server, and um, uh, consuming this in, in one uh, external SharePoint list through two uh, external content types. And in essence, uh, manipulate information from two systems inside one area inside SharePoint. Um, I'm going to um, start off today by showing you the project in Visual Studio after showing you the flat file. I'm going to um, show you what it looks like in Central Administration um, Administration once you have um, uh, deployed it. What it looks like inside uh, uh, Visual sorry, um, SharePoint Designer 2010. And there's actually a great story here also because um, what, 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 what's being told here is that you can have professional developers create something for you inside Visual Studio 2010 and um, you, know, you can have it being consumed through SharePoint Designer 2010 through your power users or your end users um, which enables or empowers them to put this inside um, you know, which Office clients such as Office um, uh, Outlook and Word. And we'll take a look at what the external list looks like in the SharePoint browser and um, you know we'll just basically move into the one next. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is uh, the flat file. So let's go ahead and open that up. So the flat file, let me kill that window. And on the C data, here's our flat file. Um, and um, as you can see here, it's just a comma delimited file. I'm in the first row, followed by four of the items. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to be pulling and consuming inside our external content type and our external list. Uh, once we've done that, let's take a look at what the project looks like. So I'm going to crack open my Visual Studio right here, 2010 Beta 2. And the first thing I want to look at uh, actually is uh, the, um, the entity class that's created. And as you can see, it's called a flat file entity. And it's representative basically of the uh, the, um, the fields that are inside my common limited file, you have the attributes here or the properties which are and your getters and your setters, which basically allows you to write information back to the file and read information back from the file. The workhorse of the uh, entire um, uh, business connectivity services um, model now um, is uh, the uh, flat file entity service um, file. And inside here, this is where you actually create the methods and uh, out of the box, you have two methods for you right here, the read list and um, also the, um, let's scroll up a little bit, the uh, read item. And uh, your read item, you know, basically takes in an ID field. This is what gives you your specific finder method, allows you to surface up one particular information for the profile screen. And your read list basically shows you everything in a big list. And um, it's basically reading from the text file. Um, what's new to Visual Studio 2010 also is the way in which you can create entities. And as you can see here, it's a very good visual designer. And in the bottom left-hand pane, you have the ability again to also manipulate your um, properties and your methods, uh, such as a read list right here and your read item right here. Um, basically, put in the parameters, your um, in, you know, interparameter, upper parameter, and other um, configuration changes. Okay. 
Um, next, I want to show you what it looks like in Central Administration. But before we go there, actually, um, once you click um, Build and um, Deploy, um, a WSP file is created and it is um, uploaded all the way from one click all the way up to Central Administration. And in Central Administration, what you probably what you'll see after you're done is um, under Central Admin, View External Content Types, Business Data Connectivity. Um, under uh, application management, you'll see your newly created um, um, BD's um, business data connectivity um, uh, application, and um, now it's able to be consumed through an external list inside SharePoint or through SharePoint Designer. Now, speaking about SharePoint Designer, um, we do have a test site created. It's called Test BCS Site Alpha. Here's the URL right here, and. Um, uh, this is basically where we're going to be uh, using our external content types. So to that end, let's go ahead and click external content types right now. And you can see here inside SharePoint Designer how you have access to a .NET assembly type flat file LOB system that we actually created inside uh, Visual Studio 2010. I also have three other guys here. And as I mentioned before, what we'll be doing is using one of these items here um, and create an association so that uh, two different um, external content time to come together to create one external list. Okay. The next thing I want to show you here is um, uh, how it looks inside a browser UX. So let's go take a look at um, the test site here. Um, as you can see, the same URL as you saw in SharePoint Designer. And we go ahead and click on the Todd Flat File job. And while that's going, let us also go take a look at this um, flat file model here also. See which one surface first. Okay, so in here, what I wanted to show you um, in a little bit more detail is um, this bit, this guy right here. So in SharePoint Designer, uh, this is basically a WSP um, or a DLL as created inside Visual Studio. However, I'm able to consume it here, and I can extend it by you know uh, selecting this item here for Office Type for Contact, which um, you know allows me now to do some mappings of these fields inside my Outlook items and surfaces stuff as a regular contact. I'm just going to leave it for generic um, right now. And uh, let's go back to this and see if it opens up. And here's our, um, our items here inside uh, SharePoint being consumed uh, through uh, an external list. All right, so um, in my next example, I'll be combining my LOB systems and creating one external list from the flat file and also from my um, SQL LOB system. Stay tuned.